Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The dental cubicle consists of the dental chair, the operator's stool, the dental unit, and bracket tray and arm, the dental light, the light arm and switches, the cubicle countertop with cabinets, and the view box. The dental unit is movable. The arm may be raised to the desired level without the release bar. To lower the tray, depress the release bar. The arm is removable and may be positioned on the opposite side of the unit. If this is necessary, call the equipment maintenance personnel to reposition the arm. To turn on the master switch, push down on the sliding panel door until it clicks. Verify by checking the channel light. Pull on the T-shaped carriage handle until the carriage locks in place. The instrument panel contains the following couplings. A high volume evacuation system, saliva ejector suction system, triplex syringe, and electro-torque cord. The dental chair works on an air glide mechanism. You may initiate it by pushing in on the round switch. If you hear a rush of air, it is working properly. Switches for adjusting the chair include the top switch raises and lowers the chair. The middle switch lowers and raises only the back of the chair. The lower switch tilts the entire chair. The chair should be maximally tilted when performing most dental procedures. To seat the patient, raise the armrest by depressing the raised button located on the back of the armrest brace. To lower the armrest, depress the raised button by the brace sheath. The headrest may be adjusted by pulling out on the handle to unlock. It is pushed back in to lock. To increase or decrease the light intensity, the adjustment may be made by the rheostat located on the undersurface of the light arm near the vertical post. To adjust the operator stool, turn the adjustment knob to loosen. Raise the lever, pull up on the seat to raise the chair. To lower the chair, raise the lever, ease the chair to a lower position. Keep the fingers away from the shaft. Lock the chair in position by pushing down on the lever and tightening the knob to secure. Always test the chair before sitting. Abdominal rest, unscrew the knob to loosen and move the bar back to a comfortable position and tighten the knob to secure. Before seating a patient, the countertop should be sprayed with a surface disinfectant and wiped with a saturated paper towel and let stand moist. On the operator stool, wipe the abdominal rest and adjustment with a saturated paper towel and let air dry. Wipe the chair adjustment lever. Spray the dental chair with the surface disinfectant 
and wipe with a saturated paper towel and let it stand moist. The chair controls or the plastic that covers the control should also be wiped down as well as the headrest and handle, the armrest, and the back of the armrest brace. Spray the top of the unit and wipe with a paper towel and let air dry. Wipe the following with the saturated paper towel and let air dry. The handle to the instrument enclosure door, the flex arm release lever, the operator's tray, and the instrument holders. Do not spray the dental light. Use a saturated towel to wipe the light handles, plastic cover on the light, the light switch, light intensity control, and let air dry. Wipe the T-handle and pull it out until it locks. Then wipe the control panel. Pull on the connector line to set the brake and wipe with the surface disinfectant. Seat the instrument and holders on the tray. Flush the water line for one minute into a sink or into a paper cup before attaching the tip. Notice the two different ends of the triplex or tri syringe tip. Then finger loosen the collar. Insert the notched end of the tip until you hear two distinct clicks. Then finger tighten the collar. Test the water, air-water combination, and air on your hand before using on a patient. If dripping from the syringe occurs, finger loosen the collar, reseat the tip, and finger tighten the collar. Test the three positions again on your hand. If dripping still occurs or the tip seems loose, call the equipment maintenance personnel. Then place the paper products out, the tray covers, the unit top cover, and countertop covers, and the headrest cover is placed. Remove all paper and disposable items from the cubicle and place in the receptacle beneath the sink. Purge the air water line one minute after removing the tip. Check the basket in the saliva ejector and if full, discard it and replace it with a new one which may be obtained at the central sterilization. Feed a sink full of hot water through the high volume evacuation system and the saliva ejector suction system. Spray the hoses, unit, arm, and tray with biocide and wipe the hoses with a saturated paper towel before placing back into the unit. Pull the hose to release the lock. Spray the unit top and wipe with a paper towel. Wipe the T-handle with a saturated paper towel. Depress the bar on the T-handle and slide the carriage into the unit. Wipe the remainder of the controls. Slide the unit panel door until it clicks. This will turn off the dental master switch.
Wipe the handle and glass door of the unit, the bracket tray and instrument holder tray arm, the headrest, armrest, light and switches, Operator stool, and the countertop. Counter Leave the chair and unit in the standard operating position. This will clear the aisle. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.